It's the fifth meeting between the governor and religious leaders at the Sarkashim Ibrahim Government House in Kaduna State. Governor Ubasani and his deputy, Dr. Hadiza Balarabe, are at the meeting aimed at assessing the progress made in promoting peace and forging unity in the state, as well as taking a critical look at emerging issues and collectively mapping out strategies to address them. Security for us is very important, and that is why we believe all of you sitting here can also support us with advice on how we can be able. But I want to say it here that we are having a lot of success in the area of security because we have been collaborating, working closely with the level security agencies in Nigeria. That was the reason why only last week we distributed 150 patrol vehicles to our security agencies in Kandosa because we believe we need to partner with them, we need to support them. And again, we have been having meetings with our traditional institutions because we believe we need to also improve the level of intelligence sharing and gathering. It's also an opportunity to render account of his stewardship in the last one year and highlight some of the achievements made in the areas of healthcare, agriculture, poverty alleviation, and infrastructure development. When we came in, I sat down with the deputy governor. I said, look, for the first time in this Kaduna, we need to deliberately put a lot of money in agriculture. We have uh, also looked at the issue of healthcare. Healthcare for us is the second in terms in the budgetary allocation. We budgeted about 15% of our budget in health care, which is about 71 billion. That is what we budgeted in healthcare. The meeting later goes into a closed door session. The religious leaders commend Governor Sani for his open governance policy and applaud him for the achievements recorded so far. It's very good that he's interacting with stakeholders and all the members of the community and the society to see what he's doing and so that they can understand what the government is doing. And I hope this kind of meeting will continue, not only at uh, state levels, but even nationally. What the governor has done today is very strategic. Calling religious leaders to give a report of his stewardship and opening the doors or the gates for us to frankly discuss the issues that are there, matters arising with him. They have resolved to work closely with the Kaduna state government to rebuild trust in their communities, promote inter-religious understanding and offer meaningful suggestions that will assist the governor Sani administration effectively.